Islamophobia is real. Racism is real. This killing was no accident. This was a terrorist attack. Their lives were taken in a brutal, cowardly, and brazen act of violence. This killing was no accident. This was a terrorist attack motivated by hatred in the heart of one of our communities. Mr. Speaker, if anyone thinks racism and hatred don't exist in this country, I ask to them this. How do we explain such violence to that child in hospital? How can we look families in the eye and say Islamophobia isn't real? When you listen to the black Muslim woman who constantly looks over her shoulder at the bus stop fearing someone will pull off her hijab or hurt her, she'll tell you Islamophobia exists. If you listen to the parents who beg their children not to wear traditional clothes for fear of them being harassed or attacked simply for what they're wearing, I'll tell you. Racism exists. Muslim families have often felt uncertain or even fearful when they go out in the streets wearing traditional garb. The reality is most Canadians haven't necessarily been aware of that fear that far too many racialized and Muslim Canadians carry with them any time they go outside. And today to my Muslim friends and to those grieving across the country, I'm reminded of the universal message contained in chapter, chapter 41 of the Quran. Quote, good and evil are not equal. Repel evil with good and be patient, end quote. While your faith asks you to be patient in the face of evil and adversity, our first duty as political leaders is to ensure the security of our citizens and to, to ensure that Canadians can be free to live, work, and pray as they wish. There are no words that can ease the grief of having three generations murdered in their neighborhood. There are no words that can undo the pain and yes, the anger of this community. There are no words that can fix the future of that little boy who has had his future taken away. Islamophobia is real. Racism is real. You should not have to face that hate in your communities, in your country. We can and we will act. We can and we will choose a better way. When someone hurts any of us, when someone targets any parent or child or grandparent, we must all stand together and say no. No to hatred and to Islamophobia. No to terror and to racism. 